I want to go across to Rajdeep first because we hadn't really heard the Prime Minister since uh, the 23rd of June when the opposition did that united uh, opposition meet in Patna. The Prime Minister was in the United States at the time. He's come down and seamlessly transitioned from talking about diplomacy to talking about politics. Can this plank work that they guarantee corruption, I guarantee good governance? Rahul, you know, it almost seems a sense of deja vu. When you look back at the campaign the Prime Minister has launched, and you could argue this is the launch of his 2024 election campaign, it's uncannily similar to what he did in 2018. You will recall in 2018 all the opposition party leaders got together at Kumaraswamy swearing in in Bengaluru. This time they were in Patna. Uh, there were a few additions, a few minuses, but there was basically the same group. And the Prime Minister even then attacked them of being a Maha Milavat of being people who are steeped in corruption and steeped in Parivar Bar. And he's doing the same. It worked in and he will believe that in this instance lightning could strike again in 2024. So I'm not surprised Raul at all. Mr. has taken by the narrative that he's pushing because that 2024 elections about. He wants to suggest that who are there in a way for their own survival. Please vote for me for stability. So he is clearly set of engagement for the 2024 elections with the kind of speech he made in Bhopal today. Salman, so a relatively similar campaign was fought by the opposition in Turkey where six parties came together against President Erdogan. They put up a tighter fight than in previous elections, but in the end Erdogan won by about 5% plus points. That is the attempt that Prime Minister Modi is making that if you want to vote for Salman, uh, Sonia Gandhi's sons or for Karuna Gandhi's sons, uh, grandsons or KCR son and daughter, vote for the opposition, vote for corruption. And he counted all the alleged scams adding up to 20 lakh crore rupees. That's the pitch he's taking to the Indian voter, Salman Zawas. Well, he is, uh, but I don't think this is going to work this time. And, uh, you know, when it comes to uh, working with the Mufti family, Mr. Modi has no problem. When, the, uh, when uh, it comes to working with the Padal family, he has no problem. When it comes, uh, when it is the time for BJP to be, uh, you know, promoting uh, children of BJP leaders, it is not dynasty politics. But if it is in the opposition, it is. And I think people, people have understood what is going on. If the Prime Minister was really serious about what he calls uh, Colgate, what he calls uh, some 2G scam. Uh, what people are going to ask him, what have you really done about all this stuff? If there really was any truth to it, why has it actually really been taken then? So, you know, the real scam is, and that is what people are going to vote on this time, that 12 and a half lakh crore rupees of uh, public sector uh, banks' loans have been written off. More than 26 lakh crore rupees have been taken fuel taxes. What have people gotten for that? I'm sitting in Srinagar. Your uh, LPG cylinder costs more than 1,200 rupees. You have 50% of the poor in this country who are paying two-thirds of the GST. Your petrol today, today in Delhi, is, I think, 97 rupees. Meanwhile, your global crude prices have fallen below $75 and have been below $75 for a while. The real estate sector has been smashed. The MSMEs in this country have been smashed. The Wall Street Journal that just gave, you know, had an interview uh, with uh, Mr. Modi reports that Mr. Modi's vision is that there are six conglomerates in this country that are going to really power India's growth. So he's basically brought millions of small businesses to their knees. Okay, and let's say it's for Islam respond to the arguments that you're making you know, that if all these scams one, one are indeed final, true... One final, point, yes. one final point, Okay, Rahul. okay. A prime minister who does not utter a single word when a state is burning, when people are divided, you think people are not are going to keep quiet? Yes, it is the Hindi heartland that he speaks to. But he's going to... His party is going to lose Chhattisgarh. They're going to lose Madhya Pradesh. They're going to lose, to mark my words, they're going to lose Rajasthan. And they're not going anywhere close uh, in the fight in, in Telangana and in Mizoram, what, what happens. Mr. Modi is frustrated. I think he can see the writing on the wall. And I think that is why this opposition unity really rankles them.